Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to display the menu here in the menu page, in the products page, which is the menu page. So first of all, I'm going to head on over to the uh, project, and then in the project, the first step is that I'm going to open up the menu page. So remember, the order, um, the menu page is the is this one, is the products page. So in the products page, we have these. We have here burger, pizza, pasta, etc. But this, these are going to depend upon your restaurant. So they are going to be different from one restaurant to another. So if, suppose that I have these. For example, I have here pizza, uh, burger, pizza, and pasta. I'm just going to here uh, have these. Uh, but if you have other, other things, you can here uh, remove them. You can here um, uh, display them. For example, maybe you have uh, fish. You can add here fish. Now what we need to do is that we need to get Whenever, whenever the user clicks on burger, we need to get only burger. Whenever the user clicks on pizza, we need to get only pizza. If the user clicks on all, we just need to get everything. So here, what we want to do is that we need to, to comment this out or copy it and then comment this out. I'm going to comment this out because we don't need to use this. Instead, I'm going to paste the same code. However, this time we need to add A tags. We need to surround these with A tags. So first I'm going to say here a tag and then I'm going to say href and then here href and then here I'm going to say for the first one for the all I'm going to say root root products products let me save and let me here refresh and uh, here it says um, products not defined. The reason is because we need to create that in the web. In the web, we need to create that root. We need to create a root called products. So here, we need to say here name products. Let me save and let me refresh. And now we will have this link all. All is going to return all of the products. However, we need to create a function that, that's going to return all of the products. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove everything. I'm going to remove all of this. And then I'm going to say here, project controller, and then class. And then the function is products. And then I'm going to say name. Name is name is products. Products. Now in the controller, in the project controller, I'm going to create a function called here. I'm going to create a function called uh, here, function, and then products, products, and this function is going to return all of the products. So I'm going to say here, products is equal to database. We already have the code, by the way, which is this code. I'm going to get this code, and then I'm going to paste it here. However, the difference is that here we need to get all of the products, because here we are in the menu page. So here we, need, we we shouldn't limit. We should say get, just get, because we want to get everything. And we need to return to the products page. We need to say here products. Finally, in the in the products page, in the in this products page, we need to loop over the products. And we already have the loop. Let me show you the loop where it is. The loop is in the in the index. If you open the index, we have this loop. We have this loop. So it's here. We have this loop, so we need to close this dev, and then we need to copy this code. We need to copy this code, and in the products, we need to we need to close this. Let me check in the database in the front end. So we need to check. We need to close this part, and this, and this, and this, and this. And this, and this, and this, and also this, and then we need to remove them. We need to remove these, and instead we need to paste the loop here. The loop with the HTML code. I'm going to paste it here. And we are good to go. Let me now save. Uh, let me head on over to the browser to test. Let me here refresh. And now, uh, if user clicks on all, this is going to get all of the meals. As you can see, I'm going to get all of the meals regardless of the meal type. So whether it's pizza, burger, whatever it is, it's going to be returned here. Uh, here, 
uh, we need to work now on the burger so we need to click on the burger if user clicks on burger we need to get only burger and to do this in the uh, in the um, in the end in the products that blade.php we need to surround this here a tag and here a tag and then we need to say href is equal to double curly braces and then root and then and then let's say products forward slash and then here burger we need to get only burger we need to get burger uh, so we need to say products forward slash burger so um, here here I'm gonna say products burger and uh, I'm gonna remove this filter we don't need this filter let me first save and uh, let me open the web and in the web what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a new root I'm gonna copy this root and then I'm gonna paste it below however this time we need to pass the we need to say forward slash and then uh, meal type so the meal type actually here in the uh, here we need to say we need to say comma and then type uh, actually category category the category here is gonna be equal to is gonna be equal to burger burger so the category is here is burger and here we need to pass the category in the web we need to say forward slash and then in, in double quotes we need, we need to say category and we need to give it another name so the name cannot be uh, products it should be uh, a specific product let's say specific product uh, or category specific category or uh, let's say specific underscore products or product let me say specific product and here in the uh, products that blade that PHP we need to say specific underscore product now in the products controller we need to create that function we need to say here function and then specific product specific underscore product and then here I'm gonna pass the request first request request and then the category category and then we need to use the same exact code here however the difference is that we are gonna be using the where function because we need to get a specific meal so before we we say get we need to say where where category category comma where category and then comma is equal to this the category here with whether it's burger or pizza or whatever so the category is going to be here category and then we get we get and that's it we return to the same view now let me save everything and let me now refresh uh, let me click on let me here it says specific uh, product not to, not defined so I forgot to save here I think I forgot to save here is specific 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 I have here a typo specific product let me now refresh one more time and uh, let me now click on burger if I click on burger burger it's gonna get only burger so now it, it's working perfectly and uh, uh, now it's it's great uh, we also here in the in the uh, uh, products that blade uh, we need here to say if it's active we need to say active so we need to remove this class actually we need to remove this class and uh, we need to remove this all as well data filter I'll let me refresh and uh, here we have this this and this and uh, in case it's active we can use if statement to check whether it's active or not and uh, I'm gonna be working on this uh, but before doing this we need to work on the pizza and the pasta and the fries because uh, we also need to get pizza pasta and fries fries whenever the user clicks on them finally at the end we we don't want to display this button because this is the this is the the menu page and the menu page already displays everything 
So we cannot display more menus because this is going to display all menus. So I'm going to remove this view more. And that's it. Now, if I click on all, it's going to get all meals. If I click on burger, it's going to get burger.